life. Invite people, invite people. Yes, Lord. Lord, I will. Yes, I will worship you forever. Love you forever. Because this God is too good. I will worship you forever. Love you. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Lord. We love you, Master. We love you, my King. Thank you for tonight. Thank you for our day too. Thank you, Lord. We are shifting and we are moving to the next level. Thank you, King of Kings. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, my God. I love you, Jesus. I love you, Lord. I love you, Jesus. I love you, Lord. We worship you. In Jesus' name, we pray. Hallelujah. So, this is our day two of the conference, Emmanuel Conference. Uh, we started yesterday and it was wonderful. Uh, let me take this time and thank everyone who attended the conference yesterday. Uh, even if you joined online, maybe you were present. Even if you were not present, but you were praying. Thank you so much for your prayers. Uh, the conference went well. Um, our day one and tonight is our day two. Um, I want just to deliver a message. Then we pray. Then tomorrow uh, we'll be live in church whereby uh, we'll be doing day three of the conference. So wherever you are, I want you to go with me to the wait. We are looking into the word of God. As you know, this month we are taking over. And as we are taking over, we don't apologize. We are taking over. We are taking over. And this is the third month. In this month, we are saying it is a month of leaving the 99 and going for the one that is lost. Hallelujah. So this is the special month for us. And 
tonight I want to talk about our team verse for the conference. I know that people they didn't notice uh, since yesterday different men of God were quoting uh, this verse. Yet this verse it's our team verse. So I want just to look at it. Then I will be delivering the message. I will be delivering the message. We are looking the Bible in the book of in the book of Luke 9 verse 23. We are reading there. It's where our message or our verse our message is it reads and he said to them all if any man will come after me let him deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me that is the that is our message uh, as I was praying for this conference the Lord was telling me that he's taking the church into a dimension. He's taking to the church, he's taking the church into the dimension of discipleship, whereby you are not a believer because you want to benefit. But you, you are a believer. As a believer, you are not there to benefit, but you are there to make profit. You are there to make impact. You are there to bring many into Jesus. So our salvation, uh, why we celebrate our salvation? Because our salvation, like it came with this ministry of Reconciling with people, reconciling with the weight, reconciling with people and preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. That if I receive the same grace, the same mercy, even people out there may receive that same grace. People may say, great is our God because people have seen the mercy of God. So the purpose of Jesus to die for us, uh, he dies so that we will come after him. He dies so that we will come after him. The verse says, and he said to them, if any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. That is Luke 9 verse 23. And the Bible says we must take his cross every day and follow Jesus. So what I'm saying, church, is that uh, in whatsoever it's happening, the reason of Jesus to die, he dies so that many lives may be drawn unto him. He dies so that he may give birth to one seed. That seed can bring many seeds. So you are that seed. That can bring many seeds. But you are not that seed that depends to the one gave the seed. But you are the seed that produces fruits. You are the seed that produces fruits. That's why the Bible says if you want to be my disciple, you need to come after me. The coming after me is not like following uh, Jesus, but the coming after him is that you come according to the way. Everything that he did, you come after him. In other words, if he rose from the dead, come after him. How can you be rose from the dead? Speak the resurrection. Do not see Jesus. See yourself there. Because you are now coming after him. Coming after him, everything that Jesus came and do on earth. 
So you are there to confirm the miracles. You are there to confirm what God did with Jesus. So as you are as you are confirming what God did with Jesus, now what are you doing? You are coming after him. Coming after him, it is to confirm the word. Coming after him, it is to speak the word. Coming after him, it is to be like him. Uh, the Bible says in the book of Philip 2, 5, let the mind that was in Christ be in you. The same mind that was in Christ be in you. Why the mind must be in you? It is because you are coming after him. Brethren, church, wherever you are, the Lord is teaching us that in all our days, we must come after him. In whatsoever happening in our lives, we must come after him. Once we come after him, oh my God, the same glory, the same, the same, the same God that 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 was working with Moses, and Moses was able to open Red Sea, is the same God we are working with. Is the same God we shall testify with him in power. Uh -huh. So it says, I will come. Uh, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me. Uh, will come after me. Let him deny himself. In other words, when you are coming after him, make sure that you deny yourself. What is to deny yourself? To deny yourself, it is to uh, uh, commit yourself. Uh, uh, to come after him, to deny yourself, it is to commit yourself. Brethren, church, wherever you are, viewers, let me tell you something. God cannot use anyone who is not committed to him. God wants you to be committed so that he can use you. So I'm, what I'm telling you today in our day two of the conference, you must be committed to God so that God can, can so that God uh, uh, will use you. The book of Malachi 3, the Bible says, come close to me, I will come close to you. The principle says, when you are committed, I will be committed in you. I will be I will, I will confirm I will confirm, not that I will, I will be committed, but I will confirm what I have predestined you, what I have given you. I will confirm it, but how can not con I, when you are coming close to me, it's not like I will come close to you. I'm always close to you. I'm always near you. But why you need to come to, to him uh, uh, so that uh, you can be close uh, to him? Let me tell you this. There is these two types of 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 of, of presence uh -huh. god is omnipresent what is the word omnipresence the word omnipresent it means god is every is at everywhere at the same time god is at everywhere at the same time but when we are talking about the word uh, 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 manifested present now we are not talking about god everywhere at the uh, at the same time but we are talking about God appearing once. Hallelujah. God, we see the manifestation of the presence. We see the mighty of the presence. So, what I'm saying, brethren, wherever you are, once we deny ourselves, we will see the manifestation presence. We will experience the manifested presence. We will testify about the manifested presence. I speak to you, just learn when you are committed to him, you shall experience the manifested presence. What is the manifested presence? Manifested presence, it is the presence that appears once. It's not the, the, the permanent presence. It's not the presence that is always there. But it is the presence that is appearing once. Hallelujah. So now, and then the Bible says, Take up his cross daily. And follow me. Take up his cross daily and follow me. In other words, we are following him, but we must not leave the cross. We must not leave the cross. What is the cross? The Bible says you must take up your cross. In other words, brethren, oh, God has given us righteousness. God has given us peace. God has given us eternal life. So we must take it up. Hallelujah. Once or whatsoever he gave us, we must take it out. We must take, we must pick it out. Well, how can we pick it down? We pick it down by keep on declaring what God has said. God can tell you and say you are not a tail but a head. 
how you declare is very important. You can say to people I'm ahead, but your declaration is opposite to what God is saying. But I declare, I declare tonight, you will manifest the presence. You will manifest the glory. You will manifest the spirit in the mighty and powerful name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I want us to look at this verse. Then I will be praying. It's just a short, short, short uh, message. Hallelujah. It's just a short, short message. Uh, we are checking the book of John 10. We are checking the book of John 10. Hallelujah. John 10. Thank you, Jesus. John 10. Uh, we are reading this. Level. John 10, we are reading verse 11. Uh, welcome, I can see people on the, on the telegram. I can see people, I can see uh, people on telegram. Welcome uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh -huh. So it's read. I am the good shepherd. So the, the, uh, the conference, uh, the, the, the mission about this conference was discipling people into the work of ministry. We are discipling people that you are not just a, a member of a church or a believer, but there is a purpose, there is a call God has, 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 has put in you. So we are we are activating that thing. So that's why we say if you want to follow Jesus, you must deny yourself, take your cross and follow him. That's why we're discipling people. But today I want to talk about this verse. I want you just to stay focused and about uh, uh, this verse. Okay, John 10 verse 11. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd gives his life for his sheep, for the sheep. A good shepherd gives his life for the sheep, what that means, brethren. Do you know that as a child of God, once you are a child of God, you are a shepherd. In that family, before you were born again, you were not the shepherd. You were not the one. But the day you were born again, you become the shepherd. You become the shepherd automatically. As you become the shepherd, what you need to do, church, what you need to do, child of God, you must now. As a shepherd, you must live by the shepherd or rabbi You must take that authority. You must take that rod. You must take that right. You must take that command. You must have a command in your way. If there's a situation of sickness, just use the kingly anointing in you. Keep on commanding to that situation because the Bible has made us kings and priests. The Bible has made us kings and priests. What I'm saying to you, church, today, I'm saying that in whatsoever that is happening, you need to understand that 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 in whatsoever you are you are facing, Hallelujah! You are a shepherd. You are a shepherd because you are born again. You are shepherding everyone, neighbors, friends, uh, people from your area. Those are my uh, uh, client. Those are my are, are your people. So you must know that for them to come to Christ, they cannot receive from anyone this news of coming to Jesus. But they must, they must, uh, 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 they must they, like you must take charge. You must take charge whatsoever is happening to them. That blood will be count unto you. Why? Because you are a shepherd. So you make sure that you invite them. You make sure that you give them order in the mighty and powerful name of Jesus. What I'm saying, the Bible says the good shepherd. In other words, they are shepherds and they are good shepherds. As a shepherd, I want to come, I want you to come to a level of being a good shepherd. A good shepherd spared in his life. A good shepherd can die for people. A good shepherd can take good care of people. That's a good shepherd. But uh, those who are not good, a false shepherd will just relax. 
will like will will never never order uh, uh, the, 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 these people that is preaching. But if you are a good shepherd, you are always looking for your people. You are always looking for your people. You are always calling them. You are only sending messages. You are always following them. You are a shepherd. Do not wait for the man of God. Do not wait for him to ask where is my man. But use your will. By using your will, it shall come to pass. What I'm saying to you, viewers all over the world, oh, Rabo Shaka Paradiakasa, you are a shepherd, and God is calling you into the good shepherd. What is a good shepherd? It is to give your life, or for, you need to give your life to your people. You need to give your life for many people in the name of Jesus Christ. When your people in your area, people are suffering, and you are still there, not helping them. You, it's better for you to enter into prison because you have given charge to take care of them, but you are not rising as God has said in the name of Jesus Christ. What I'm saying to thy church of God is that he will deny himself. He will deny himself. He will deny himself in the name of Jesus Christ. What I'm saying church to you is that you must understand that uh, uh, what was happening, God is, is, is pushing more. God is, is, is doing new things. God is elevating people in the name of Jesus Christ. So, 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 brethren, you, you must understand that the good shepherd laid down his life. Are you ready to die for your people? Are you ready to die for your church? Are you ready to die for someone close to you? So be a good shepherd. You cannot say, I'm, not, I'm ready. And then you think of you think of uh, uh, you think of 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 of, of uh, medication, but for you to be ready, think about the God that can be able to reverse things. That God can be able to reverse mountain. Church of Jesus Christ, I'm telling you, wherever you are, God is blessing you. God is elevating you. God is shifting you. God is expanding you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. As I'm coming to an end, viewers on Facebook, YouTube, God is with you. God is with you in the name of Jesus Christ. And this is your time. As we are in day number two, you must know that you must know that greater is he that is with you than the one in the world. The Bible says when you read Ephesians 14, it talks about it talks about it in the name of Jesus Christ. When you read uh, John 14, it talks about the Bible says, uh, let your heart not be troubled uh, in the name of Jesus Christ. Believe in me and believe in my Father. In my Father, there are many mentioned. Hallelujah. There are many mentioned in your life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Why? Because there are many mentioned. Because you are living in the dimension of become the son. Become the son in the name of Jesus Christ. So I declare to everyone and I declare to everyone under the influence of my voice. God is elevating you. God is lifting you up in the mighty and powerful name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. If you are there on Telegram, open your microphone and say Amen loud. Oh. God has Hallelujah. If you're on Facebook or YouTube, can we hear that? Amen. Just write it down. Hallelujah. Write it down. Write it down. Write it down. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. God is calling us into the life of, 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 of the life of value with the soul more than value with uh, uh, ourselves. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So we bless the name of the Lord, brethren, in the name of Jesus Christ. For so for today we end here. Uh, let me also remind you that tomorrow we are in one place. We are gathered at Sound of Glory International Ministries. Uh, we we are gathered there at Biwake. Uh, the service will start at 10 a.m. Make sure that you come and you attend uh, uh, tomorrow. The word of God will be delivered. Prayers will be made. And prophecy in the name of Jesus Christ. God will, will you, know, you know, God will be revealing mysteries about your life. Hallelujah. So I want to encourage any member, every member of this church, 
wherever you are. I command you to be part of that meeting. Hallelujah. To be, to be part of that meeting. Because after the meeting, after the service, we will be holding a meeting in the mighty name of Jesus. Whereby we need to uh, give you updates and, 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 and uh, show you the direction in the name of Jesus Christ. And, uh, Father, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Yes, 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 yes. So the, the Lord is blessing uh, you. So let's meet tomorrow then. 10 a.m. will be live on Facebook, will be live on YouTube. Thank you for joining us. May the good Lord bless you all on Facebook, YouTube. Uh, hallelujah. Telegram, may the good Lord bless you.